What is up YouTube? Welcome back to this channel. Before you go anywhere, I know it's been a while since I made my last video. Maybe you knew that, maybe you didn't. I can explain, but in this video we're going to go over how much for you to start a vending machine business right now in 2020. No BS. I'm going to explain every single type of vending machine business, whether it be ATMs, claw machines, gumbo machines, snack machines, soda machines, every ATM possible. I'm going to explain in this video. Make sure you stay tuned to the end because we're also going to be doing a giveaway. All right, what is up vending family? We also got some new merch. Obviously, I don't know if you could see that. We got some vending business solution merch. If you want this, you can hit the link in the description below. Go buy some merch. It's gonna be 50% off for the next two months. Um, and we're also gonna be donating some money to help COVID-19 relief. So make sure you go check that out. Super awesome stuff that we're doing. Welcome, hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone's healthy since the last time I made a video. It's been about 21 days and I wanted to get a banger video out here. Um, also recording on a new camera. Hopefully the quality is better. New setup here, everything's pretty cool. My setup's a little messy, otherwise I will show you, but um, you will see that obviously as the videos progress, but a lot of new videos are gonna be coming to this channel. You know, how to start a vending business, how to start an Amazon FBA business, how to start a dropshipping company, how to start a clothing company. Two hours later. I've been derailed a little bit by COVID-19 and the coronavirus. Um, everything is still good. I haven't went to a vending machine in over two months. I haven't went to an honor box location in over two months. Um, it looks like the government is about to reopen. So I wanted to get a video out here to show you guys, like I'm excited, I'm ready to get back to work. I've been doing a lot of online organizing and things that'll help me scale in the future. So I'm excited to show you guys that as well. We are gonna be starting a lifestyle channel. I don't wanna mix the business with the lifestyle, um, but I do wanna do vlogging. I wanna show more of my life and the traveling and all that stuff that I do. So I'm gonna start a lifestyle channel and I'm gonna kind of just go over my life and what I do. And uh, if you wanna see that, make sure you're staying tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, the bell notification so you know when I get new videos. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's hop right into this video on how you can start your vending machine business and how much it's going to cost for each specific type of vending business. So many people are like, oh, where do I put this machine? What type of commission do I give here? I get so many comments from different things. And the thing is on this channel, we're not just talking about one vending machine type of business. There are a boatload of them. There's gumbo machines, toy machines, there's claw machines, cream machines, pool tables, jukeboxes, ATMs, snack machines, soda machines, candy machines, uh, frozen food, vending machines, uh, mask vending machines, you know, pharma boxes which have like pills and things like that um there's an infinite amount of vending machine an honor box in my opinion is a vending machine some people will disagree with that but you know that's just noise honor boxes are vending machines so what type of specific vending machine do you want to start i talk about this a lot in my book which is right here vending revolution how to start and grow your vending business there are many types of vending businesses that you can start and it really depends how much money you have how old you are um, do you want to start a business and, you know, what's your long-term uh, idea of what you want with your company? What do you want to be? What do you want to do? Depending, you could start on the lower end. So let's start with the most basic vending machine that you can do. And I've seen a lot of people doing this. Honor boxes, Vending Business Solutions, the company shirt that I'm wearing right now, is a company that sells Honor boxes as well as other things, courses, you know, how to start an ATM business and other vending machines. You could check that website out in the link below. Um, but honor boxes are an easy way. You could start with 10 honor boxes for hundred bucks shipped to your door and then you have a vending machine business and you have 10, all you need to do is get 10 locations and these things can make you between five and $40 per month. I can't guarantee those results, but that's what you're going to make between five and $40. It's a wide range because you're not allowed to guarantee an amount, but there you go. Now let's say they make 10 bucks. So you have $100 a month in gross profit. That's 1200 a year. Let's say you donate 200 of that. You've made $1,000 then 70% of that is usually net. So you've made 700 bucks that you can actually put away in your pocket, obviously before taxes. But that's honor boxes. So depending on what you wanna start and how you want your business to grow, you can start with honor boxes, cheap, easy way. Um, there's other people on YouTube who went from honor boxes to full line, you can do it. You have to just be diligent in your actions. Next up after honor boxes, in my opinion, is bulk vending, which are basically, I'll talk about gumball machines and toy machines. Those are the only two you should be doing with bulk vending. There's a couple things that are going to change within this industry and you know, a lot's gonna happen. But gumball machines, toys, not gonna go anywhere. Toys are wrapped up. So obviously germs, coronavirus, stuff like that, it's protected from that. 
gumballs a little different we might start getting some backlash there's going to be another video after this explaining you know what's going to change in the vending industry a lot is going to change this shook up a lot of people some of the biggest people that i spoke to who have 15 20 000 nationwide accounts are confused about what's going on a lot of places want us to pull our machines i don't know what i'm going to face when i get back out there in a couple weeks but we are going to face a difficult time all i can say is if you're new it's a new era so just be prepared be patient and you know just be ready for everything that's going to come your way um, but let's say you want to start a gumbo machine we also sell those on vendingbusinesssolutions.com i don't mean to plug but we do sell them we're the cheapest one that sells them i think they're 85 dollars on there i think it's 30 or 40 dollars shipping so let's say you could start it for 125 bucks one machine so let's say you got five of those okay let's do the math on that let's say it's 750 bucks i'm not sure if that's perfect math 750 dollars you have five bulk vending machines. Those things are gonna make the same as the honor boxes. So it's kind of a little trickier because why would you buy a bulk vending machine if you can buy an honor box for you know a tenth of the price and make the same amount of money? Some people will disagree because obviously honor boxes are open, it's on your honor, people can steal, people like the gumbo machines, they can sit longer. Honor boxes you have to go pretty frequently, probably every one, two, three weeks if they're busy accounts. Um, so that's the difference between those two. But I think the gumbo machines, that's what I started with. I started with 12 Venstar plastic junk uh, vending machines. I started with candy and it wasn't even gumballs, it was all like peanut M&Ms, regular M&Ms and Skittles or Mike and Ike's. And I placed those and those were making me a killing. They were, some of them were making me 40, 50, 60 bucks a month. So it was actually really cool to see. I didn't know what an honor box was at that time. I'm not even sure if they existed at that time, but you know, there's so many different things that you can do for each. But going back to honor boxes, the locations you can put them in, restaurants, barber shops, um, and bars. Let's go there for those three. And the same with bulk, bulk and honor box locations pretty much the same. You're not going to be putting an honor box in an office unless you really want to. Um, I suggest putting them in con consumer driven locations, not employee driven accounts. Um, the employees will do a lot of the buying with your vending machines, whether you realize that or not. Um, but consumer driven ones are good as well, because then you have people constantly passing your machines or your honor boxes. Um, so between those two, I might be biased, but I would pick honor boxes just because the price you can buy 500 honor boxes for the price of 10 uh, gumball machines. So I'd rather have 500 accounts than 10. That's me. Some people would rather have 10 premium accounts that make more than the honor box accounts. Do it whichever way you want. I just want to explain those two perspectives. Um, from that, I guess we'll go to claw machines or arcade games. Uh, we can't do coin pushers in New York, but if you want to check out coin pushers, go to Quick Play. Uh, they're on YouTube. Those are buddy of mine, two buddies of mine, Eli and Cody. Shout out to Eli and Cody, what's up guys? And uh, yeah, claw machines, which are the different arcade machines. Claw machines are the games where you can pick up the little toys or you know whatever they put inside. Those, they're gonna cost you a little bit of money unless you can find them used. Some people have found them used for a couple hundred bucks, thousand bucks. Um, I know mine, I bought brand new. Um, if you wanna know where to buy that, just go online, candymachines.com, or just type in claw machines for sale. I suggest buying those used because the one I got was just around 3,000 bucks. Um, it did come on a credit card reader though, so that did make it cost a little bit more. But $3,000 isn't that lot, isn't a lot when you think about the overall perspective of it because this thing is making between 100 and 200 bucks per week just for the one machine. So you're gonna be making between, you know, 400 to $800 per month for one claw machine, depending on what you wanna do. Again, this video is just for the beginners or people trying to understand what is the best business model in terms of the vending machine industry. For me, soda and snack, that's my you know, bread and butter. That's what I do. Um, do I like it? Do I think other things are, are better? Maybe I do like claw machines. Um, I will you know, voice my opinion here. I think claw machines, if you had 50 to 100 of those, you would have a beautiful income. And uh, not just having 50 to 100, but having 50 to 100 claw machine locations, that would be a very solid business, very awesome business. And I wouldn't worry about anything else. No soda or snack machines, just claw. Not a lot of heavy lifting, not a lot of products. You have, you know, maybe three, four or five different product varieties for those. It's a lot better. Places you want to put those, supermarkets, bars, uh, restaurants, those are probably some of the best locations. And if you want to find them, go on Google search. Maybe you can find one used. Those would be what I would personally start with if I had the money in the beginning because 
I just know how much money they make and the profit margin is amazing because it is slightly fixed, but we're not gonna get into that. So the next one are soda snack machines. This is my bread and butter. I have a lot of these out, a lot of different types of soda snack machine locations. I have combo uh, accounts. These machines are gonna cost you a lot of money, but there's also another video on this channel, which maybe I'll put an info card here, how you can buy them for $0, no interest, 12 months. Super awesome. You don't even need to have good credit. You can go check that out. There's another video and uh, you can buy a machine for zero bucks. They'll place it for you. They'll bring it to the location and they'll get all the worry out of your head. You don't have to do anything. So it really depends what you want to do. Um, but I think buying a machine, financing it out, if you don't have the money is a good idea as long as you have a solid account. If you don't have a solid account, then you're not going to be able to pay for the machine when the time comes. And that's gonna be an issue. So you're gonna to have to think about that. The best places for those corporate places, warehouses, manufacturing plants, uh, meat processing plants, things like that, really good accounts for these machines. Things where employees are there all day and they never really leave for lunch. Those are the best type of accounts. Last, but probably best type of passive income vending machine. Comparably to bulk vending, I would say these two are the most passive. Neither is actually completely passive, but passive in the sense you don't have to be there 100% um, are ATM machines. ATM machines, I've had one and I got burned on it. It was completely terrible. I sold it right on the location. It was making 50 bucks a month, which was gross. After all the fees and everything like that, I was actually negative. I just got out of it. I didn't want to be confused by all of it. It was a very interesting business. I was a lot younger at this time. I was paying 50% commission. I don't know what I was doing. I wanted the account. I was so excited to do it. Obviously learn from me. Don't When you're so excited and so motivated to do something, you'll do anything to get it done. Sometimes that's bad because then you rush into things, but having an ATM account are great. Having a lot of them is great. One thing, one caveat I will put here, if you have a legal um, marijuana dispensary near your house or anywhere near you and you can put these in, I don't personally in New York, but if you do and you put an ATM in them, I wanna be your friend because you're gonna make a lot of money. But that is my one location I'll give away for those because I think those are the best as well as like cash supermarkets, we call them, you know, bodegas here in New York, but those are gonna be the best to put ATMs in because if they take card, no one's gonna use cash anymore. Cash is dying. Um, so people do need to realize that like ATMs are gonna be here forever. Cash will be here forever, but the percent of cash used in our society is going to decline. And it's been on a steady decline ever since 2000 and beyond. Um, people don't wanna use cash. And ever since this coronavirus thing, people again, don't wanna use cash. They'd rather put it on a card and not touch the cash. No germs, um, nothing like that. Apple Pay is becoming more prominent. So is the ATM business dying? I don't know, you can look into that. I would say no, just quick opinion. I haven't looked into it, I haven't researched it, but you can research it as well. Um, that's just my opinion on the ATM business. And uh, I guess the last one, which I thought would be the ATM, but is the Pharma Boxes, because I was talking to someone, it's called Pharma Box. I'll have a picture here. And they sell medicine and they're these big machines. And I've seen the Kylie lipstick, which is another video on this channel. She sells lipstick out of her vending machines. These are super niche markets. The Best Buy vending machine, the Neutrogena, the CVS vending machines. These are very niche markets, which have franchise models that are run by nationwide accounts um, that, you know, process these machines and put these machines in and pay for them and stuff like that. So someone just having one or two machines, unlikely for you to get those because those machines cost five, $6,000. And then you have to stock it with really expensive products. So that all depends on you and what your life goal is for the vending business. If this is a side hustle for you, if this is a side business and you have between zero and a thousand dollars, start with honor boxes or bulk. That's your best bet. If you have between a thousand and 5,000, start with claw machines, coin pushers, arcade games, um, soda snack machines, combo machines, things like that. If you have 5,000 to 10,000, go beyond franchise out of CVS or a pharma box or any of these, those are gonna be your best model because then you have the money and you don't have to worry about things. But there's people coming in there saying, okay, I have a thousand dollars. I wanna buy one soda machine and that's gonna be my business. I think this is a terrible way to enter this business because then you're out your money. Then you have to fill it up with product, which is between three and $500. It's just very hard for people to understand that. They wanna jump into it, they're excited, I get that. But just understand each of these different pivots, to each of these different levels in this industry and you know, see what fits for you, see what's right for your life. Um, be prepared for the next video on this channel. I'm gonna conclude here, but be prepared. There's another video coming out. The future of the vending business after this COVID-19. I have a bunch of pointers, bunch of tips, what I think is gonna happen. Beginners, intermediate, advanced people, I have some ideas of what's going to happen. I've been talking to people on the board of the NBVA. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to be a different time. Times are changing. 
change with the times, adapts with the chimes, don't get left behind and you will still be successful. You will still be fine. A lot of vendors are taking this as a, you know, six month vacation. Super cool. They're not worried about it because guess what? Their machines will still have money in it. Their machines will still be making money and we, that's just the industry we're in. So my machines are still making money, whether not be as much, it's still making money for me. So super excited to get back out there get some machines placed, have a bunch of machines to be placed, and you'll see that stuff here on this channel. So excited to get in front of the camera and make another video. As always, make sure you hit that like button. Comment down below what you guys think. Um, I'll be giving away, this is my last book that I have. I've been giving away a lot of books. If you want, of any revolution book, covers all this stuff as well as a lot more things. I'll uh, pick someone in the comments, give a valid comment, and uh, let me know you want the book. I'll pick you, and uh, I'll send you some stickers as well. But that's pretty much it guys hope you guys are safe stay healthy stay indoors it's almost over so god bless and i'll see you guys in the next video peace